welcome back so in today's video i'm gonna be doing a full set of acrylic nails so all of the products that i'm using are available on my website so i'll be sure to leave the link down below so you guys can go check it out but um this is gonna be a fall set so we're gonna be doing some nudes and we're gonna do some ombre and glitter and all that good stuff so the first thing that i'm doing is just placing my first bead right in the middle and this is actually gonna be an ombre nail so I'm doing the darker color at the tip and then the lighter color closer to the cuticle area. So this right here is in the shade Honey. And I'm just, like I said, placing it at the tip, making sure that we have a nice coverage that is nice and smooth. So I'm just placing my acrylic down, patting, and then very gently brushing it down. So this bead right here, same thing place it down and when i brush down i want to be really gentle because i don't want to brush that acrylic too far down because then it's going to take away from the ombre so next i'm going in with the second bead closer to the cuticle area same thing placing it down very gently patting down and then as i'm patting i'm basically pushing it closer to the cuticle area and you want to make sure that you get it as close as you can to the cuticle but not to where it's actually touching the skin and if you do get any product that is touching the skin then just very quickly go around the cuticle area with the very tip of your brush so this is what the nail look like after we've applied the two nude colors so now i'm going to go in and just encapsulate this with a little bit of clear so just placing my bead right in the middle and as always we're just wanting to make sure that we have a nice thickness and apex that way we don't have to worry about any breakage or lifting or anything and then also um again these two colors were in the shade honey and amore and they're a part of my nc acrylic collection so be sure to click the link down below if you haven't already checked them out so as always just brushing down very gently just brushing or not brushing but just blending everything in really good and then after that for the middle finger i'm going to be doing a french tip um so this one i'm going to do basically like a reverse french tip so just doing the nude first and just kind of patting it as i go because i want to create that small line and so like i said just patting down and then just basically shaping it into like that you know that small line and i do want like a deeper small line so i'm gonna brush it down just a little bit more and when you're doing this remember you want to be very very gentle and also if you notice um this acrylic definitely gives me a good amount of time to work with it before it dries so it's definitely beginner friendly because as a beginner you don't want to work with anything that dries way too fast because of course you know you're still learning to pat it down and just get it nice and smooth and you don't want anything like i said that just dries absolutely too fast so now i'm just going in with a bead closer to the cuticle area and of course wiping around that cuticle area quickly so you can get that product off the skin if you do get any on there so i am gonna let this dry before i do anything else to it um so now we're gonna move on to the pinky and it's basically gonna be the same thing that we just did on the index finger it's just gonna be an ombre nail so the darker color at the tip which is in the color uh, honey and then we're gonna do the color a more at the back so remember that whenever you place that first bead in the middle we just want to make sure that you pat it down and try to brush it all the way down towards the tip and then also you want to make sure that you blend that color right in the middle where you first placed it that way it just makes the blending a lot smoother um, whenever you come in with your lighter color if you have like a really harsh line in the middle it's going to be a lot harder to blend so make sure that you kind of blend it in and you want it to be almost a little translucent right in the middle um like where i first placed the bead so now going in with a more same thing patting it down very gently and then brushing down towards the middle to blend it in All right. 
Alrighty, so once we have the two colors down and blended really well, we're going to go in and encapsulate with the clear. So up next, for this ring finger, we're going to do a thin layer of the clear. And then I'm going to go in with a little marble with the two different um, nudes. And then I'm going to go in with a darker color, which is in the color satin brown. And just kind of swirling the colors around. And I'm not going to do a full ombre, just a little bit right here in the middle of the nail. And then I'm going to go in with some glitter now. As you guys notice, even though I am doing a lot of glitter, I always leave the glitter for last that way I don't get any glitter on the rest of the nail so like on the ombre and stuff like that because the glitter definitely does get messy so this is a raw glitter or basically just meaning that it's not mixed with any acrylic powder and so what I do is I just pick up a small bead of the acrylic and then just dip it into my glitter and just place it on the nail or if you have an acrylic or a glitter acrylic that's already you know glitter and acrylic that's completely fine whichever one is best for you but since I have the raw glitters on my website that is what I'm using so again just getting a small bead of the clear dipping it into my glitter and then placing it on the nail and it works exactly as you know like glitter acrylic would work so i'm um, just doing the orange and the gold making sure that i get it really nice and neat around that cuticle area and then i'm going to place a little bit more of those nude shades um just to make the marble part just to go down a little bit lower and then i'm going to do more of the gold and orange um, glitter at the bottom of the marble. Alrighty, so next we're going in with the clear and we're just going to encapsulate everything that way we have a nice thickness and a nice apex and then also because you know we're doing colored acrylic and so it's really thin on the nail as well as the glitter so if we were to just leave the nail how it was it will break off before they even walk out the door so you always want to make sure that you encapsulate your colored acrylics and your glitters. So for this middle finger, I'm going in with the two glitters as well. So just going in and basically pushing the glitter up as close as I can to that smile line and just basically creating like a French tip. So it's going to be like a French tip ombre because I am going to leave the tip clear. So I did my orange and then I'm going in with my gold and just making sure that I don't get too much of that gold on the tip because like I said, I do want to keep the tip a little bit clear. So just kind of blending that in with the orange glitter and then i'm going to go in and encapsulate this entire nail with the clear
So lastly, for the thumb, I'm just going to be doing a ombre nail with all of the colors. So the two glitters and then the color Amor and the color Honey. So I'm doing the orange first. Again, making sure that I don't brush it all the way down towards the tip because I do want to leave it clear. Then I'm doing the orange. And then after that, I'm going to do Honey and then Amor and then encapsulating with the clear. Alrighty, so that was it for the acrylic application. So again, all of these products are available on my website. So I'll leave the link down below so you guys can go shop. So this is what the nails look like after the acrylic application. So next we're going to go in and shape the nails. But I kind of like this matte look, y'all. It's kind of giving. But as you guys can see, we have a nice apex and thickness at the tip. And they just look really good. So next we're going in with the 8080 hand file. So as always, just going in and filing both sides in the free edge at exactly a 90 degree angle. But I also do file like at a 45 degree angle to just get those rough edges from the bottom of the nail first. And then I go in and file at exactly a 90 degree angle. And that's what's going to give you that perfect tapered square shape that you want. So remember, always, always, always pay attention to exactly how you're holding your file because that definitely will make or break your shape now um, of course these nail tips are already that tapered square shape that I like but we just have to go in and redefine it so um, again just going in and following both sides and basically just following until we get the width that we want I don't want them too narrow because I don't want like the coffin like I don't want them to be too coffinish I still want them to be a little bit more square so just following both sides and then after that I'm gonna go in and file the free edge and same thing just going in and just following at exactly a 90 degree angle so we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing on all of them and also just a little reminder that when you're falling you want to make sure that you have some good stability that way your nail is not just wobbling all over 
over the place so as you guys notice whenever i'm following the thumb i kind of position it or like put it against the rest of my fingers right here as i'm following the other ones i kind of use my thumb to kind of hold my finger and that way as i'm following it's not just moving too much and i'm able to get that perfect shape that i want or if you just want to put your finger like against the table um like the edge of the table i do that a lot as well but whatever works for you is completely fine just as long as you're able to get that perfect shape that you want i know nowadays it's literally all about the shape but so this is what the nails look like after we finish shaping them i feel like i got a pretty good shape so now i'm gonna go in with my extra fine drill bit and we're just gonna file all of the nails to make sure that they're all nice and smooth and then also that that cuticle area is nice and smooth and literally flawless so I'm using my e-file at 8,000 RPMs and I am using my flawless pro e-file by mccart definitely the best y'all when i say this drill has some power like usually you guys know that with my old one i used to use it at 11,000 rpms well this one is a lot faster and so i've learned very quickly that i need to slow it down and even then y'all like sometimes I, I think i i did cut myself during this set because it like i forget that i need to slow it down so if you do have it or are planning to get it just keep that in mind that it is pretty powerful um like i said definitely the best it's really cute it's the pink holographic and i definitely love it so i'll be sure to leave the link down below and i do have a promo code for the website so um like i said i'll leave that information down below so i'm gonna go ahead and finish following all of the nails as always just following around the cuticle area from the right side all the way over to the left side following the rest of the nail to make sure that it's nice and smooth and then i also like to go in and just fall away and any thickness at the tip because I don't like my tips like too thick and so I feel like if they're a little too thick then I will go in and just file a little bit off but other than that just making sure that we seal the cuticle area really well and that all of the nails are nice and smooth and then of course because i'm able to lay my acrylic down very smoothly i don't have to do too much filing um other than the cuticle area and then again i will file underneath the nail if i have to So after that, I'm going to go in with my buffer and I'm just going to buff all of the nails really good to get rid of any of the scratches left on the nails from the hand file or the e-file. And then after that, we're just going to dust them off and wash my hands. And now I'm going in with a top coat and on this nail, I'm going to be doing some 3D work. So y'all, when I say I'm not the best, I wouldn't even say the best, like I'm barely any good at 3D art, but I'm trying to learn. So um, I'm going to attempt to do a little 3D flower i almost thought about not doing it because i'm not good at all but um if you've seen on my instagram or i even posted a short i was in la last week for a nail class and i was there with v nailed it and the nails daddy and so v did the 3d nail art class and i was paying really close attention and so after watching her i literally ordered my brushes as i was sitting there which is 
um this is the number four 3d brush i got it from amazon but it i did get the one that comes with a package and that it comes with like a whole bunch of different 3d nail art brushes um so definitely was excited to give it a try and i must admit that this definitely came out a lot better than the last time that i did some 3d work so i'm excited to keep practicing and perfect them because like i really like the 3d nail art that people be doing but i just have never been able to master it like they make it look so easy but it's definitely you know i need some more practice so um i was like i said i was excited to try it out i am using the color um cafe latte what is it called latte chocolate y'all it's called chocolate and this also one of y'all forgot my own product name but this is also a part of my nude collection um it's definitely working pretty well for this 3d art um so i'm just gonna continue to do this now i do feel like the only one that i really like they like i said they don't look too perfect but the only one that i did or I feel like I messed up on was this last petal and I think it's just because I kind of ran out of space and so I kind of had to overlap this one um, but it doesn't look too bad but anyways now I'm going in with some bling and then I'm gonna do some caviar around the nail and I totally forgot to mention but this design was inspired by uh, Vanessa on Instagram I'll be sure to leave the link down below to her Instagram so you guys can go check out her work um but she definitely does a really really good job so um after we finish placing the caviar i'm just gonna do a top coat on all of the nails and i'm just using my nc gel top coat super super shiny and then we're gonna cure all of the nails for 60 seconds Alrighty, y'all. So here is the final look. They turned out absolutely beautiful. I love the colors and my 3D art doesn't look too bad. So let me know what you guys think down below in the comments and I will see you guys next time.